to let you see what this guitar or and hear what it sounds like. It's a so this is another uh, Collings CJ, which has the slope shoulders, the Gibson style sh slope shoulders. This also has an Adirondack top, which is a big plus, probably seven eight hundred dollar big plus, and. Um, a couple other things, it does have the Fishman pickup that you can access uh, through the strap button right here. And uh, we'll see that in just a second here. And the whole purpose of this, um, these videos is so you can see and hear the guitar so that when it arrives, you'll know what it is. So this is uh, regular Indian rosewood, all right? And has a nice, Thing right there on the back, divider. And uh, this also has uh, Wa Waverly on the, uh, I know I'm hopping around here, but uh, the backs of the keys. And I'm gonna turn around. And this has the, uh, the diamond type inlays like you might find on a, uh, right along the neck on a old pre-war uh, Martin, for example, which is kinda cool. Really nice guitar. And this also has trim uh, around the neck right here, binding, and trim around the headstock. You can see that right there. And um, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's got the cool pickguard that was used in the 30s by Gibson. The guitar is in, I'm trying to find, you know, op, usually there'll be a little mark or something somewhere, and this guitar probably has a few little marks. I mean, I'm talking, this, there's a mark here that is so little you probably can't even see it. Uh, let's see on the back here. That's a really nice piece of rosewood. And uh, so I'll go ahead and uh, play something else here. And this particular guitar does have really low action, which I, a lot of people like to have low action. And uh, it's pretty simple if you have low action to make it higher. For example, if you want to play bluegrass, um, now taking high action and making it low is a whole different story. So uh, this is a, uh, once again, a Collings CJ full scale guitar, similar to the Martins, full scale guitar. If you have any questions, you can call me at 404-218-8580.